Professor Stamper, you just gave a lecture on graphene and uh, the special properties of this material. What, in short, are the special properties of graphene? Yeah, graphene is a very unique material. It's something which we have around since a few years now, and it has the combination of properties which are very hard to get. So it's highly conducting, so it conducts electrons better than any other material. Then it's transparent, so one can see through, and it's mechanically flexible and bendable and stretchable. And so the unique combination of these properties makes this material a very fascinating material. Mm -hmm. And what is it used for? And uh, you uh, compared it to silicon, for example. Um, what is the difference and why is it superior to uh, silicon, for example? Well, I would not say it's superior, so it's different. So yeah. okay. it uh, actually, due to these properties, it can allow for flexible electronics, so we can and will see at one point flexible displays and touch screens. Mm -hmm. We will also see flexible sensors. I, I also showed a Wi-Fi receiver, which is flexible. So actually, we will get a, a lot of new electronic devices, mm -hmm. uh, which are not possible with other technologies. Mm -hmm. so. You also mentioned that there's a whole family of related materials. What is the difference and, and what can they be used for? Yeah, this is, I think this is the real exciting part is that there's not only graphene as a 2D material, so there are other 2D materials. Uh, and these other materials can be also have insulating properties or semiconducting properties like silicon. So now we really can think about using 2D materials for replacing mm -hmm. silicon in certain applications. We also have superconductors. So we have a whole zoo now, mm -hmm. and we can actually combine these materials in different ways, and we can really design and engineer new functionalities. Professor Stampfer talked about graphene and the outstanding properties of this material. What importance does um, materials research enjoys at RWTH Aachen? Why do we need material sciences? Okay. As you know, RWTH Aachen is from its core a university of technology. So we are bound to develop new technologies, apply them to solve what we call the global challenges in energy-related terms, mobility, information technology, just to name a few examples. And material science is really at the core of these developments. Materials are the drivers for new technology. Materials are the enablers for the engineers who develop the final devices, the final uh, material systems which they use in cars, in planes or in computers. If you want to make these devices better than what we have known for decades, you really need new materials. To get new functionalities, we have to reduce the dimensions of these materials. Then we use quantum effects, for example. And this has been demonstrated very nicely by Professor Stampfers. And these two-dimensional materials, which are only one atomic layer thick, these are really the premier examples which we have now, how we can generate new functionalities from new materials.